a new study by the Indian Council of Medical Research has found that mixing the two main vaccines, Covaxin and Covishield, in use against COVID-19 in India is safe and provides better immunity against the virus. Worldwide, studies are underway to understand if a combination of two different vaccines can outperform two doses of the same vaccine. Here's a look at how the studies were conducted and the findings from it. So the idea of uh, heterologous uh, prime boost strategy came about from Europe, wherein uh, there was a, a small uh, increased risk of uh, thrombosis, uh, which happened after AstraZeneca vaccine in young women particularly. And many of the countries there uh, then subsequently recommended not to take the AstraZeneca vaccine for young people uh, and complete the dosing with the mRNA vaccine. So this was more of a safety issue uh, that this idea came about. But then if you look at uh, literature, uh, this data is uh, available for other uh, vaccines as well, uh, particularly HIV, Ebola, malaria, uh, dengue, etc where this strategy of using two different platforms for priming and boosting uh, is being studied, although all of them are in clinical trials. So to have a broader coverage, uh, why not use two different platforms with uh, their predominant uh, ability to stimulate a particular arm of human response and make the coverage broader and provide more and perhaps longer duration of benefit. Uh, that is where the idea comes about. So very early studies which are already published. One is from Spain, another is from the United Kingdom. The United Kingdom study actually was published uh, two days ago, uh, where they looked at heterologous prime boost strategy for COVID-19 vaccine. But both of those studies uh, demonstrated that this was AstraZeneca vaccine followed by mRNA vaccine. And both of these studies uh, showed that it was reasonably safe uh, but uh, what they also found was in the lab, it was more immunogenic as well. And uh, that means it had a higher antibody response. And one of the studies also showed that it was having a better T cell response as well. Uh, interestingly, the ICMR study was a kind of a, a study which was uh, uh, inadvertently uh, being looked into when uh, people inadvertently received 18 people after Covishield, a dose of Covaxin, about six weeks. And uh, uh, they studied these patients uh, and compared it with the controls. 40 people each who received two doses of Covishield and two doses of Covaxin. And they looked at one safety and they didn't find any difference between uh, the safety parameters in these uh, two strategies. Uh, and the second was uh, immunogenic response. So they did find a better antibody response in patients who received the uh, mix and match uh, uh, platforms versus uh, receiving both these platforms. Obviously, uh, the limitations of this study is this is preliminary. This is still in preprint. It's not pre-reviewed, so it's not published in a journal. Uh, and most importantly, it has a very small sample size. <coughs> Uh, 98 patients are recruited and if you see today uh, the drug controller of India actually gave approval for uh, doing a further larger study on uh, this Covaxin Covishield mix strategy so I think this is a promising strategy and uh, needs further data before we can really rapidly scale up as a public uh, program. So right now, I don't think we have sufficient evidence that we should be able to roll it out as a public health program in trying to have this mix and match uh, heterologous uh, prime boost strategy. Uh, what it, what the data right now shows that it is promising and we need to do further studies before we roll it out uh, as a, a strategy. Uh, obviously, mixing and matching uh, do happen, uh, particularly in the Western world, if you are uh, having a severe adverse event to one platform, then you can always go to the other platform. So that is agreed that if you can't tolerate or have a severe side effect to one platform, you can always go for a second platform for the second dose. 
so apart from that there is currently uh, no indication really to use this as a strategy up front So right now the evidence base is in 98 patients and uh, 18 of whom had this uh, homo heterogeneous um, uh, prime boost strategy. So I think we need further data. Uh, one of the important aspects with COVID shield may be, which we really don't know, again it has to be proven, is that COVID shield is actually also having an adenovirus vector based platform. And if you have two doses, uh, there may be some possibility that you may develop antibodies against the adenovirus as well, which uh, along with the COVID. So this can perhaps decrease the efficacy of the adenovirus uh, platform in, in the two doses. However, there is no evidence for this as well. This is just a theoretical concern. Uh, mixing and uh, uh, mix and match strategy of vaccines should be based on science and not very haphazard.